So I'm a BF. You've been doing this program. I want to hear like, what are some of the success stories? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the success stories, I will just say they range from everything from traditional work accomplishments, like promotions, raises, people leaving toxic workplaces to like life transformation results. Mm -hmm. Women are showing up for themselves. Yes. And I, honestly, Rachel, like that's why I started this program is because programs that I had gone through, cause I've been in leadership roles in both the nonprofit and the tech sectors. And I fell so often in leadership development programs that someone's telling me how I'm supposed to act, how I'm supposed to talk, how I'm supposed to dress, who I'm supposed to be. And I called BS. And I'm like, okay, cool. Those are just continuing to perpetuate one standard of leadership, one image and vision of leadership, mm -hmm. where I know that the power, especially for women who are in mostly male dominated fields like tech and business and finance, it's like, no, the power of our leadership is when you are tapped into your authentic communication, leadership style, power, mm -hmm. vulnerability. And so it's my goal to coach you into that version of you. And that's why it's different from like just a LinkedIn learning course, for example. Totally. And it's like, that's why it's a coaching program y'all. I think that those are the differentiators. It's you have expert facilitation, you know what you're doing, Emma, you've been there, you've done that, you have the experience and you also have the ability to create a really welcoming environment for so many different folks that can really get people to open up in maybe a way that they wouldn't have. I mean, y'all, it's like, now's the time. I mean, now that's the time. The you think about even like feminist theory, the theory of this is actually be committed to and strengthen the muscle of being who you are. And then when you're so clear on that, a default consequence is that you don't settle. Yeah. That's so right. sure. You may, you may decide that, yeah, I'm going to rise up in leadership at my current organization, or you may decide like, I'm going to get out of this place because clearly who I am in my power, I'm not welcomed here. I'm not incentivized. And so like now you have a community of women, you know, through SGO and then the cohort mm -hmm. even more intimately to say, okay, what's my next step? And they're going to hold you to your vision because everything's going to come back to vision in this program. And if that, if that makes, if you have a visceral reaction to that again, like maybe you're sweating, maybe you have a tight chest, maybe your head gets a little dizzy, even thinking about it. Mm -hmm. My invitation is to listen to your body. And if your body is saying yes. But your head is going, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's like, do you want to make decisions from that space? Mm. Or do you want to take a chance and invest in yourself so that you can feel good, so that you can be powerful, so that you can create the impact that you want? That's right. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. I... And I'm so glad that you said what you said, because that is absolutely right. And that's why we talk about abolishing inequity in the workplace, because it takes two, it takes both people on each side of that desk. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to find the place that feels authentic and good for yourself and where you want to be and communicate that effectively to that person who is in power to, mm -hmm. to determine whether they're going to be able to hear you. And then that's where the DEI training comes in, because those folks need to be trained on how to hear it. Yep. <laughs> 1000%. So, That's why it's such a great collaboration. Yes. I'm so excited because this is only the beginning, you know, yes. like get in now because this first cohort is going to have so much magic. Like you're not even ready for it. I know. And it's crazy. It's only 10 people. So yeah, I'm excited. We're going to have to pass, clone yo. you. We're going to have to clone you, Emma, because that's the only way it's going to happen. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Emma. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rachel. I can't wait.